क्वेश्चन सिक्स सेज इन अ क्लास टेस्ट प्लस थ्री मार्क्स आर गिवन फॉर एवरी करेक्ट आंसर एंड माइनस टू मार्क्स आर गिवन फॉर एवरी इन करेक्ट आंसर एंड नो मार्क्स फॉर नॉट अटेम्प्टिंग एनी क्वेश्चन देन वी हैव दिस टू पार्ट्स टू सॉल्व इन पार्ट वन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सेज राधिका स्कोर्ड ट्वेंटी मार्क्स इफ शी हैज गॉट ट्वेल्व करेक्ट आंसर्स हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन हैज शी अटेम्प्टेड इन करेक्टली so we are given the number of correct answers which is 12 and we are also given the total score which is 20 marks but we don't know the number of incorrect answers this is what we have to find so let's do this step by step so for her 12 correct answers what score will radhika get so for the 12 correct answers so i'm using this symbol to represent 12 so for these answers radhika will get 12 into 3 because you get 3 marks for every correct answer so 12 into 3 or 36 marks now observe this carefully she gets 36 marks for her correct answers but she obtained a total of only 20 marks why is this happening well she must have answered some questions incorrectly for which she got negative marks so the uh, marks obtained due to the correct answers plus there will be some marks obtained due to the incorrect answers this sum will give us 20 so from this relation we can say that the score due to incorrect answers so the score due to incorrect i am using this symbol to represent incorrect so the score due to incorrect answer incorrect answers this will be how much so from this relation we can see that we can find this as 20 minus 36 or minus 16 so radhika obtained minus 16 marks because of her incorrect answer and adding 36 and minus 16 gives us the total score as 20 now from this score we can find the number of incorrect answers very easily so the number of incorrect answers will be how much so the total score due to incorrect answers is minus 16 and the score per incorrect answer is minus 2 so we calculate minus 16 divided by minus 2 and because both uh, dividend and divisor are negative the quotient will be positive and 16 by 2 is 8 so we will get 8 so for part 1 the answer is that radhika attempted 8 questions incorrectly now let's do part 2 similarly part 2 says Mohini scores minus five marks in this test, though she has got seven correct answers. How many questions has she attempted incorrectly? So this is very similar to the first part. Mohini scored seven, uh, got seven answers correct. So because of these answers, she will get seven into three, or twenty-one marks. But she must have obtained. Uh, she must have made many questions. Uh, she must have answered many questions incorrectly because her total score is negative it's minus 5 so how do we calculate the score due to incorrect answers so basically the score due to correct answers is 21 plus there will be the score due to incorrect answers so 21 plus this score will be equal to the total score which is minus 5 so from here we can say that mohini's score due to incorrect answers uh will be how much so this will be minus 5 minus 21 or minus 26 so mohini obtained 21 marks because of her correct answers and minus 26 marks because of her incorrect answers and when you add 21 and minus 26 you get minus 5 okay now let's calculate the number of incorrect answers so the number of incorrect answers will be the total score due to incorrect answers which is minus 26 divided by the score per incorrect answer which is minus 2 and now we calculate this uh, the dividend and divisor are both negative so the quotient will be positive and 26 by 2 is 13 so we get the question as 13 so in part 2 the answer is that mohini attempted 13 questions incorrectly and with this we have completed both the parts and question number 6 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams 
Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.